it is the end of the week of Cosmic Horror for Horror Mayhem, and I have finished the second book. We're about to move on to Folk Horror, which is maybe my least favorite of all of the genres, and I have, finally, because it arrived late, nothing but uh, broken teeth, blackened teeth, and Through the Woods, which is a graphic novel, so... That one is going to be read very quickly. But the last book I read for Cosmic Horror Week is The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor LaVale. It is another very distinct cosmic horror in that they, they are using the mythos uh, that Lovecraft had much like Ringshot did, only Ringshot did it in a very adventurous, fun way. I would not call The Ballad of Black Tom fun at all, but I would call it much closer to Lovecraft's actual tone on how he wrote Cosmic Horror. This is a riff. I wouldn't, it's not a retelling. I would call it a riff because it's basically telling the same story as the the horror at Red Hook. That was a Lovecraft short story. Now, a little back on Lovecraft himself. I would assume most people have some understanding of Lovecraft uh, or know something about him if you are watching this. He was a weird little man, and he was a... a noted racist in that he hated everybody but Anglo-Saxons and that he he didn't care whatever other race you were it, it, he just didn't like you now that being said I find it interesting that there are so many minority writers who write Lovecraft I find that ironic and perfect perfect justice in all of, of in all of this, Ring Shout was a definite take on that elder god mythology. The Ballad of Black Tom is a direct riff. It is using some of the same characters that were used in the horror at Red Hook. It is using the same. It's using a parallel telling of the story. Is basically what it is. It's it's the story from a, from another character in the story but not really because they talk about Malone and it would do you justice to, before you read the book to actually go back and at least read a summary of the horror at Red Hook which I did Malone is a character that is in the horror at Red Hook and he features heavily in the Ballad of Black Tom he is not really the protagonist, I would not call him the protagonist, because he doesn't show up until sort of maybe halfway through, and then it changes to his perspective on things, but that's because of some of the things that happen. And, like I said, The Ballad of Black Tom is not fun. It is cosmic horror that is cosmic horror as cosmic horror is intended. It is angry. It is a, it is a very angry angry conclusion uh, to one of the to the main character and it is done in the very very set tone of how Lovecraft always did things that no matter with cosmic horror the ending is always generally along the lines of no matter what you do there are forces far bigger than you that are just going to do what they want anyway and that's what the Elder Gods are with Cthulhu and all those other different ones that he that he write, wrote about all the time. Now, this story starts out with Charles Thomas. He is, he is Black Tom, um, mentioned at the end. But Charles Thomas is like a gr kind of a grifter, hustler sort of person. He's only 20. He is black and he is up in New York and there's a... a great deal of emphasis on the fact that when he leaves Harlem, there's like a target on him at all times. He is very unfairly treated by the police. 
at several different points, of which Malone is one, and that is why we have the crossover with him and Malone at a certain point in time. And he is... The issue with Charles Thomas and his major downfall in all of this is that not that he does anything wrong specifically from the beginning, but it's a very Lovecraftian thing where people just kind of get messed up in arcane evil, just sort of accidentally get involved in arcane evil. And that is sort of what happens again with Charles Thomas. He is a delivery person of some of these arcane texts to different people and gets paid good money for that and he goes to deliver this some sort of alphabet of spells to this woman in another area of New York and he knows what it is like he knows what the book is capable of doing he doesn't have an exact knowledge but there's something about Charles Thomas that he does sort of understand this arcane stuff that's happening he has not the sight but he has an ability to be aware of magic and and sort of weirder outside things going on so he knows something is wrong with this book so he takes a takes the last page from the book and hides it because he knows that if this woman gets this book she's going to be able to do some some bad stuff now that is where he starts to end up getting crossed over with with outside sources that he he really would be better off not dealing with but again he's 20 he's kind of fearless and this is sort of how the ball starts rolling here and that is a very lovecraftian style of doing things people who just sort of blunder into ultimate evil and the elder gods that's just a very Lovecraftian thing. Now, where he starts coming across uh, one of the main characters is Soidum. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. But Soidum is one of the main characters that's in... Robert Soidum is in the horror at Red Hook. He's the one who is initially messing with all the Elder God stuff and all the arcane evil and different things like that. And horror at Red Hook doesn't specifically really talk about him doing that. This book does very much tie more into the Lovecraftian mythos. And Sudyum kind of takes interest in Charles Thomas, and this is where the ball starts rolling downhill. The woman who who has who was asking for the spell book finds out she's been hoodwinked for all intents and purposes, and then she starts coming after Charles Thomas. And this causes one very horrific thing to happen to Charles Thomas that is going to motivate everything else that he does. And this is one of these books that you don't really like any of the main characters. You, you don't you 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 don't like Malone. He's a, he's a casual racist. You certainly don't like Howard, who is another character that shows up because he's a raging racist and deserves everything that comes to him. You don't, you feel for Charles Thomas, but the stuff he does is so cataclysmic that, that you don't like it, but you feel for him and you understand why he does what he does in, in the end. And there is a line, let me see if I can find it, because I don't often read in, in the books, Um, I bear a hell within me, Black Tom growled, and finding myself unsympathized with, wish to tear up the trees, spread havoc and destruction around me, and then to have sat down and enjoyed the ruin. You're a monster then, Malone said. I was made one. And that is pretty much the the emphasis of of the book, is the fact Black Tom, uh, Charles Thomas, Black Tom, does what he's doing motivated out of rage, and it's justified rage based off of what happens to him. And there's at one point where something happens to Howard and Malone's like, no one deserves, like he, cause he is the, he's the kind of viewpoint we're at at this point. And he's like, no one deserves that sort of treatment. And as a reader, you're just sort of sitting there thinking, well, maybe he did. Because you, 
it's one of those things you don't like what the main character's doing, but you sure as heck understand why he's doing it. And if he causes the end of the world, you understand how he got to that point. So this is one of those type of books. That's why I said it's not like Ring Shot. It's not fun. You're watching a, a character deconstruct, in a because this isn't a long book, in a very short amount of time. But you completely get why it happens. And this is excellent in the fact that we've taken Lovecraftian horror and the fact that Lovecraft was a raging racist and turned this around on its head into something that will make you angry about how a person is being treated. There, there were points in time that I was, particularly with Howard, uh, I had no problem with what happens to Howard in the end because of what he does. Particularly with Howard, you're just angry. And you understand why Charles Thomas is angry in this. And you understand why he would be. Basically, he has been so mistreated by people and knows he's not going to get justice anywhere that to him, the better option is dealing with with the devil, which is Cthulhu in this particular instance. So that's where you're kind of going with this book. So it starts out a little, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it from, you have to get through like the first chapter a little bit and then it starts rolling rapidly downhill and turning into, and turning into Lovecraft. And I can't say enough for my Cosmic Horror Week. My Cosmic Horror Week was great. We had one book that was just a whole heaping ton of fun, and then we had another one that is true Lovecraftian tone. And I personally love Lovecraft Country, the book, which is way too long to be involved in any of this, but love it as a book as well. I think it would be a great companion piece all three of these just kind of read together and just kind of an interesting take on what on what Lovecraft came up with and what it can be turned into like I said next week is folk horror I'm kind of indifferent to folk horror a lot of times simply because folk horror is just sort of folklore folklore in and of itself is kind of inherently messed up so that's just one of those things that I'm just like, yeah, it's a folk tale. So it, it's limbs chopped off and, and all sorts of crazy things happen. So we'll get through the folk horror and see if nothing but blackened teeth is any good. I have heard mixed on that one. People either love it or hate it. And as a graphic novel, I've already started Through the Woods, and some of them are okay, and I've got some opinions on some of the other ones, so we'll get into that. And then in June, I will be doing June on the Range as well. I will do a TBR of what June on the Range books I will be doing. Because I'm only doing four, and one of them is actually kind of tied into the birth year book thing I kind of do, which is Blood Meridian, which I have a very, very conflicted history with Cormac McCarthy. He's one of those authors that I know is a good author, but I don't really like him. It, it, it's not as a person, but as an author. I don't really like his style. I don't really like how he does things. So we'll see how much I like Blood Meridian when it gets into that part. But this is the end of Cosmic Horror Week, an excellent week, and ended on an excellent, rather complicated for as short as it is book here with the Ballad of Black Tom. <laughs>